<laughs> yeah, so this recording going to the end? Yeah. Nice. And also, um, you know how he talks about how like the, uh, the the loyalists they've turned on each other, they're fighting amongst themselves. That yes. does not. That isn't the case. Well, not exactly. That doesn't happen in uh, low chaos either. Although, spoiler right. for low chaos. In low chaos, we are going to meet Lord Pendleton and uh, you know Tr Mar Teague Martin again. In low chaos, you don't. You find them dead. In the top of the lighthouse, you find them dead and apparently poisoned at a big dining table. Havelock, Havelock has murdered them. So he's just crazy. Yeah. No what. Whereas in uh, high chaos, it's like they all turn against each other and they're fighting. That's interesting. And, um, but, and of course, there's the usual thing where there's a lot more guards and soldiers if there's high chaos. There are, and they're now all alerted to you. Damn it, Samuel. Yeah, you killed them rather unceremoniously. Well, he was going to sail away. I didn't have time for anything fancy. <laughs> and anything plus, flat. apparently, I killed him so hard that he just phased right through his own boat. I think that's pretty impressive. That is true. Uh oh. And there's a you know there's a uh, armed uh, gun turret guard tower. You know what that means? Got to rewire that punch oh, card yeah. system. You can make some really awesome, like, ultra-long-range sniper shots in this level. You've got the crossbow and the zoom. <laughs> well, you've got the draw distance <laughs> for it. You know, it's... Oh, shit! I oh. meant to do that. Of course you did, John. Now, okay, here's a nice... Here's a... One of the ways you can use the blink power. It's not just to cross gaps or whatever. It's, it's good for... Like, if you, you can, like, get behind a guy unseen because you can move around him without actually, cr like, being present in the intervening space. So it's a good, it's a good way for, it's a good, it's a good means of huh. stealth kills. Just appearing behind guys. <clears throat> uh, John, you hung up the, uh, <sighs> steam call. All right, you with me? There you go. Okay. Yes. We've been locked in battle with our own technology all day, folks. Pay it no mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this really does look like a mobile, like, military platform. Oof. Well, it was. They said like the the region was building it to be like his like ultimate military, you know, bastion. Yeah. It's, uh, have locks out of people. <laughs> and he's, and he's got this giant steampunk whale oil powered, like, you know, mecha. That launches... <laughs> I don't know. Whale oil catalyzed nuclear weapons or something. <laughs> oh, it, it has that arc pylon on oh, it, yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah, That's why. He, that's why he want. Rail that's pilot. why he wanted Sokolov and Piero to get the information from him. Nick, I can hear a lot of noise over on your right. side. What are you doing? I know. I know. I'm trying to fix it right now. Here we go. Deck. Decades ago, Havelock was on this mission where he was for where he was tricked into betraying and killing his mentor, and it deeply scarred him forever. <laughs> I'm impressed by the just the floating of that character, just bobbing yeah. there. It's a neat little touch. They have buoyancy.
So there is a way to get to this level on medium or so chaos, and Samuel won't send up. I the believe, player. yeah, I believe there's like an intermediate level where you get the high chaos version of the level, but Samuel does not fire the flare. I think you have to be really bad to get the flare. So, congrats to me. Well, we did what we set out we, to achieve. Corvo Atano is history's greatest monster. Yes. Oh, and I hit the wrong button. Of course. <laughs> oh, right in the coconut. <laughs> notice that, notice that uh, arc pile on there. Yeah. That's another one. Like I said, you can do some really sweet long-range sniping in this level. Very satisfying. This level is huge, by the way. All with a tiny hand crossbow. Yeah. yeah, what? That is some of... What is the string on that made of? I don't know. Steel, probably. It's some impressive uh, weapon stability. But you said the arrows do have drop, right? The incendiary ones do. I don't... Okay. So far as I've been able to tell, the regular ones do not. Incendiary definitely does. Oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, look at They're him not... fly! Oh, nice. Incendiary ones do, presumably... He sold that. <laughs> Over the top rope, back out! Oh, and his head... <laughs> that guy's head came off. Because why not? Nice. Are you sure you're shooting darts and not... Spinning saw blades. Well, we we talked about my hydraulic shark theory a few episodes ago, as you may recall. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Man. I think that was just his helmet coming off and not his entire head, although I'm not certain. I, I have the, you know, the special kill cam. We'll I have that set to, like, go as frequently as possible, just because... Why the hell wouldn't I? <laughs> That's my philosophy. Yeah, why not? Choices, choices. It's a small wonder people... Sorry, what's that? I was gonna say, it's a small wonder they even started developing weapons technology after this crossbow. <laughs> it's just... Just an army of guys with little, just wrist-mounted weapons. Two of them, and good lord. I mean, I suppose you'd have to figure out a way to reload them. Then again, it was custom built by Piero, so who knows? Maybe it cost like, maybe it's co maybe it cost like five million a crossbow or something. Yeah, I suppose. It's weird, like when you think about the the idea of cro cost effectiveness, because it's not like like that scale in real life, where it's not like this one gun is amazing, but it costs five million, even though it would. No, it, there's this mentality, you know, it's cheaper to train another soldier than to ensure the life of that one. Alright. I'm not sure if there's anyone left for it to attack, but at least now it won't shoot at me. And you... Okay, so I can't remember if we decided that the whale oil will eventually deplete... Maybe you let it shoot at you for long enough? Yeah! Oh! I don't I don't think we've nice. really tested it. I don't think I've ever seen one run out when it's fighting enemies. Hmm. Speaking of which... Well, someone came within its baleful burning gaze. <laughs> that guy's right. 
just walking around awfully calmly. I know. Nerd. Maybe he's, uh... Nerves of solid steel on that one. He's got the, um... T-Rex mentality. Like, it's vision <laughs> is attracted to motion. I, I love the, uh, the shine of, like, those lights on the wet ground. Oh, yeah. Really pretty. That's good. If you get if you get your timing right, jumping when you blink can greatly exp expand what you can do with it. Yeah. Because remember, it's like its vertical range is much less than its horizontal range. Right. Okay. Art pylon. Oops. Close my. Art pylon is now rewired. Nice. Yes. It's strange that they sprint straight well, towards it. Well, they don't it. realize, they might not know it's been subverted. They just, hey, something's, something weird's going on. I know, but, like, I think, like if I yeah. was a guard, I would never want to be around one of those. That would, that would be nerve-wracking, just having that nearby, even if, you know, it's on your side. Anything that could cause instant death, like, I'd just be nervous around. Especially if it kills you so overwhelmingly that you're just ashes. Would you even have time to realize you're dying, or would you just be dead? Not... Well, if you couldn't feel it, that might be a... Oh, hey, hey, fellas! Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that tank over there is getting... It's, it's, it's noticeably depleted now. You can see even from here. Yeah. Some... Some people see the whale oil tank as half empty. Corvo, see see Corvo sees it as half full. He sees all the people it still has full the power to kill. Misery. Oh, I think it's run empty. I think it's empty now. Oh, hey, check it out, an overseer. Nice. I'm trying to remember who you were talking about. Who was talking about half empty, half full. And, like, they were talking about uh, the context and contents of the cup. Uh, yeah, that, like, that would make a big difference. Do you want... That would make a difference. Like, do you want a cup, like a, a half full of, you know, say, baby blood? Do you want a cup that's half full of baby blood? Or half empty? Well, I guess it depends on if you if also, you happen to have any uses for baby blood. Like, is the, yeah, is the blood going to a baby? Like, is this going yeah. to save a baby? Or is it coming from a baby? And whose baby? Is, are you disturbing... Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe it's a maybe it's a really annoying baby I don't like. <laughs> that, 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 that was a little dark. I, I do not endorse I I do not endorse exsanguinating children. I just want to make that clear. Okay, so you haven't rewired no, this. Alright. No, that tower I really don't the towers really don't seem to run out of power as far as I can tell. I, don't, I guess. Yeah. Well, I think it might be partly because the uh, the arc pylon. It's like they, they they attack with like you know electrical energy that's presumably generated directly from the whale oil. Whereas I'm pretty sure the towers they're they're firing right. like they're firing solid projectiles. So the whale oil doesn't the whale oil doesn't power actually power the explosions. It just uses the energy to, you know, to, you know, turn and whatnot. I know you're here. You with me? Check yes. Yeah. Sorry, the, uh... So I, I assume the, uh, the towers have their own, like, ammunition supply separate from their whale oil supply. Although, I mean, the game doesn't, you know, track that. Uh, oh! Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't want to put munitions next to whale oil, anyways. It would be a risk. Then again, you may have noticed the technology of Dunwall not always the safest. <laughs> so I guess they're okay with that. <laughs> Oof. 
Wow. Nice. Oh, just the perfectly clean cut. Corvo Atano, close, close <laughs> shave. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like when some super it's like in like a samurai movie where a guy cuts a guy, and like and the guy's standing there for a moment and you don't think anything's happened to him and then he just falls in half. <laughs> Have you seen um? Oh, what is it? Was it Kung Fu Hustle? I've not seen that. No. Uh oh, hey fellas! Oh, there's this. Oh, nice. Now remind me, if you possess one rat, do you possess the no. whole pack, or is no, it just, just the one you rat? You don't get you don't get the whole swarm. That would be awesome if you could actually just be the rat swarm and devour cool. people. That needs to be DLC. Be one with the one swarm. With the swarm. Oh yeah. You could be you could become the Kerrigan of the rat world. Yeah. Through the drainage, basically. <coughs> Sorry. The drainage. Hmm. You have to blink jump? Or just yeah. jump more confidently than me, perhaps. I'm not sure. Corvo Tano can't no. jump. No hops. Get there in a hurry. Nice. Hate to kill a man with such a fine beard. <laughs> the beard shall feast in Valhalla. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the title of this episode. <laughs>